Hey everyone, Tech OG here, and I'm back at work. My second full week back at work, and I'm glad to be back. Most of my students are happy that I'm back. Students that normally don't like me because I'm always on their case about getting work done, they're not happy to see me. But um, I would say about 98% of the population are back, to, are happy to see me back at work. And I want to use this video to give shout outs to my students that have subscribed to my channel because I've told, um, I, I think most of my classes that I do have a YouTube channel, show some of my videos in the classroom, just, you know, little tidbits. And they were excited. And so they subscribed to my channel and left some comments. I got a uh, reply to the comments. And like I said, just want to give shout outs to them and shout outs to anyone else that has subscribed to my channel. But like I said, I just wanted to shoot this quick video on this uh, accessory that I have that I want to talk about that I use in my classroom. Actually, I bought it from a home for it. This is a, uh, a four port HDMI input device uh, where you can put up to four HDMI devices in here into a device that may not have uh, the HDMI inputs that you need for your devices. And in the classroom case, they definitely don't give you devices that you can plug in more than one HDMI uh, or device that uses HDMI. And so my experiment-ish is going to be using this with um, a projector that I have in my classroom to display things that uh, I have that uses HDMI. So that's why I brought it to school. Let's we'll see how it works. I'm about to set it up, and then after I set it up, get it working, I'll show you how it is used on the projector that I have. So stay tuned. Okay, um, here's the result that I have. Well, first, let me show you um, the hookup that I've done. Um, the projector that I'm using is the projector um, that's issued to my classroom to use with the smart board, but. Um, Last summer, or last year, uh, no, not last summer, but last school, no, not last school year. Actually, it was this school year, at the beginning of this school year. Um, I wanted to know if uh, this projector had an HDMI input, so um, I looked up the model um, of the projector online and discovered that it had one HDMI input in the projector. But of course, it wasn't being used. Uh, with the way it was set up in the classroom. So, had to get a table, put it over here, prop it up, get a chair, step on the table, go up there and uh, connect my HDMI cable to the projector. Um, sometimes your cords are shortened, so what I have first uh, connected is an HDMI extended cord. So it's like two feet long, and then I have an HDMI cable connected to the extender and then have the four port switcher or HDMI switcher connected to the HDMI cable and then have the power source and thank goodness I have an outlet close to it. That's what I was afraid of where um, if the cord wasn't long enough I, didn't, I couldn't connect uh, it to a power source but it connects quite well. Um, only one wire visible, small wire, really doesn't take away from the cleanliness that you have if you have a clean room uh, and everything, and everything's all behind here, so it works great. I'm using my uh, Galaxy S9 to record a video, and as you can see, now that I have it all set up, this is, or on the uh, smart board screen, uh, the display of the S9. So as you can see, I am recording the video. There's only a small uh, relapse time, so a small delay, I'm like a half a second or so. Don't know if I can uh, adjust that. So I'm not going to be using uh, this to record or anything. Um, I'm just basically using my phone to display. Again, there you go, you have the screen of your phone on your smart board through the projector. Now when I turn it landscape mode, the 
screen or the screen itself or the rectangle screen doesn't switch, it does turn the picture sideways. So that's a that's a small drawback. It, it doesn't switch to landscape mode on your screen. I don't know why it doesn't. It should, but. I'll figure that out and we'll let you know in a future video if it actually works. But my experiment works. I'm very happy it works. And I'm very happy that um, this is the first time I'm using my S9 to record a video for my YouTube channel. So I'm glad this is all working. And um, I'm glad, like I said, glad to be back at Squirk. And I hope everyone have a good day, especially all of you teachers out there. If you have any questions about um, setup and everything like that, um, definitely uh, leave me a comment in the comment section. Um, definitely subscribe to the channel, tell your friends about it, teach your friends about it, and I hope to see you in my next video.